um, I guess I was just, um, um, I was, I was very, I was, at the same time in my life, I guess, I was going crazy about music and cinema and any art forms actually, so like really deep into all those art forms and sort of things were like sort of like getting mixed a bit in my, in my, in my mind and, um, and so when came to like, I was, I was getting a really big fan of music and I, I was basically thinking that music was not very well represented through cinema, you know, the way the cinema approached music was in most of the cases very like archived relationship, you know, where even the best, what you would call the best music documentaries, let's say like Gimme Shelter or, you know, the films in the 60s about the Stones or the, even, yeah, all those, most of those films were like, Cinema Rico, you know, following music in a way, you know, mm -hmm. music is leading, music is like, and cinema is just approached with a sort of like documentary approach where following what's happening, you know, and, uh, and there's a, there was only a few films, especially one film that I saw, which sort of like gave me a completely different opinion on what, what was possible to do, it was a film named Step Across the Border. By, uh, by two Swiss filmmakers at the end of the 80s, about a, uh, about a, um, about a guy named Fred Fries, who's an English guitarist. And the, that film was this incredible poem, incredible, like beautiful uh, blend of cinema and music writing, you know? It was really creating this very, really, really amazing, amazing relationship in between those two mediums, you know, to end up with something which is exactly in between, you know, that hybrid. So it was kind of like early, I think I was looking for this hybrid. How can I reach the hybrid, you know? Because I, I think, you know, we are, we are a hybrid generation more than, than any, any, at, any, any, at any time. And we, we are all the same here, huh? you know? Just like, like you, like, you, like you do, like you do. It's like, you listen to this music, you, you watch this film, you read that book, you know? Before that, in the 20th century, thing, knowledge were like much more separated, you know, some people were like very like, have this amazing knowledge of cinema, but no knowledge of music. Is, is it impossible nowadays? Everybody knows a little bit about everything. That's the amateur age. And so that, I think that I was really trying to, to come up with something which was representing also my approach to those mediums, you know, an hybrid. And, and hopefully, you know, when you see those films, I guess, hopefully it's hard to uh, be careful that. Hmm. It's hard to uh, to put words on it. I guess the the goal, in my opinion, in what I'm doing, but I guess in a lot of people, a lot of stuff that people are doing that I see creating nowadays, I think it escape wording, and I think that's the beauty. As soon as you escape the words, you reach the body, and you come back to these like really organic relationships, and um, and that's really what I'm yeah I'm trying to get rid of the words, you know. So when you see those films, words cannot really reach what it is about. But hopefully, when you see them, it's very obvious though. You don't have to use the words, right? So don't